What is up guys, Zach Scott here, uh, playing Destiny, and uh, the last time you checked in I did the Festival of the Lost, and that's still going on right now, uh, but the time before that, I did the initial mission uh, in the Paradox Quest to, um, to unlock No Time to Explain, and now it's time to continue that mission because Lakshmi at the Future War Cult is, is offering me uh, the next, the next step. Uh, earn reputation through through donations to the future war cult. I'm gonna accept that. I can do that. So donations. What does that mean for me? That means literally I donate to them. I believe. Um, I have a lot of modes of light. So if I just kind of start doing this, I think it's ten thousand. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Yeah, ten thousand that way. Speak to black. Okay, I'm here. I am again. Continue. Uh, not forged in light. Here's how I see it. The Hive want to eat us. The Fallen want our stuff. And the Cabal want our planet. But it's the Vex Guardian. Only the Vex can take our past away from us. If we're going to understand what these files mean, I'm going to need more context. Hunt down a powerful Minotaur taken by Oryx. Destroy it and pull a simulation core from, from its husk. Shatter the core and return to me. Yeah. So that is one thing that I will be doing. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there's a few other uh, steps in this quest. And uh, I might have to group up with the fire team uh, to do some of them, but we'll, I'll be there when that happens. So uh, I'll be back soon. Okay, we're on Venus, and we need to take out a uh, Taken Minotaur. I have uh, Alan and Ashley with me right now. <laughs> so if they, hey. want, if they want to say anything. <laughs> That's what they say. Uh, I, I'm just waiting for a Minotaur. We need to take him out, and we're going to take whatever was inside of him for the future war cult, and then we got some more missions after that. Uh, you know, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but we're gonna have some fun. Probably not very long. This is the goblin. Tell me if you see a minotaur so I can come help you guys out. This one's hard because they're invisible. That's true. If you see where he is, though, I know that we can't be the only ones who need to do this, so. Oh, here's one, I think. Yeah. Oh, where is oh, there he is. Yes. All right, I got it. Got I got it, the yeah. simulation core. Mm -hmm. So, uh I think what we have to do now with the simulation core is just we have to break it. Um if we go in yeah, here in your inventory. Yeah, you can just shatter. Boom. And now I need to uh speak to Lakshmi. So, <laughs> I'll be back once that happens. All right, I'm back with Lakshmi here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what she wants next. Let's begin. Let's begin. Excellent work. I'll make good use of the data your ghost is feeding me. We've spent more time looking through these files, and we, and we believe we know what your next step must be. It will not be an easy one. Gather a fire team and return to the Vault of Glass. Confront time con Time's Conflux, Atheon, and take its eye. Within the eye will be invaluable data. Shatter it, as you did the simulation core and then return to me. All right, Excellent that's gonna choice. be quite the feat. I'm gonna need help with that, I imagine. So time to enter the Vault of Glass and destroy Atheon. Yikes. All right, I have the relic. Okay, and I think I'm opening the right portal. The correct, the left portal, which is, I think I'm opening the correct portal. <laughs> <laughs> Your vision's gonna get kinda bad, but I'm coming. Just keep shooting. Thank you. Alan, run up and get in the portal. Or, I keep saying portal, in the shield. And I'm gonna cleanse once before we go out. Alright, let's go. Okay, where the fuck am I? Alright, we're in the middle. There's a dome in the back. We're shooting Atheon. Melt that. Five, four, no. three, two. Time to leave. And that's the nice thing about the bubbling back, is it gives us an easy way to exit. Okay, I've got the relic again, same story. All right. I should stay back so you don't get killed by hobgoblins. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Is 
attack, keep up with me and Ashley so that you can get in the bubble. Oh, yeah. There we okay, go. Okay, I'm cleanse right when we're on the outside. I'm coming Step through. Group. Okay, now go in the middle. And a uh, bubble in the back. Oh, that. Yeah, right. I'm taking damage somehow. You're good. You're good. Just shoot him. Okay. Yes! Yeah! So, did he drop the thing? Yeah, I have, I have Atheon. I have Atheon. So we just shatter it now, right? Yes. Yep. Take this, Atheon. Shatter. I'm gonna go talk to Lakshmi. <laughs> All right. Well, that was cool. Did we not get any rewards yet, or did they? You oh. got. Vision oh. of. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't. Some... I wasn't looking. <laughs> okay, we gotta go talk to Lakshmi. Okay, well, I, I made it back after shattering Atheon's whatever, and now Lakshmi has something to say to me. Uh, let's see what she has to say. Ex excellent. I'll begin my analysis of Atheon's data at once. In the meantime, I have results from the simulation core. The heart of the Minotaur revealed a ripple, a snag, in the time stream around the Twilight Gap. Head out to the pass. Try to determine what Praetor's ghost saw there. Then return to my side. Excellent choice. Excellent choice indeed. Approach the Twilight Gap. Set course for the Twilight Gap on Earth. We'll do that, and I'll be back. All right, now we're going to be doing the Shadows at Twilight mission here, level 41 quest. It's kind of a new thing. Uh, I believe, from what I've read, that it takes place in a, uh, a Crucible map. Uh, so we're going to find out exactly what that's about uh, right now. Here we go. All right, here we are. Explore the Twilight Gap and survive the shadow that hangs above it. I'm cleansed, cleansed numerous times. I actually love this uh, Crucible map, so apparently I have to find a treasure chest, which would be really easy if I had like a hunter or something that was able to, to show it off. Oh my gosh, dark, 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 dark. Oh gosh, okay. It's kind of like the Atheon thing. Well, I know I can get cleansed over here simply because, uh, oh, nope, I died first. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that's fine. Again, uh, the whole point of this is to try to find a treasure chest. It's like gonna be like an Easter egg hunt, really, so. Um, just gotta do my best, I guess. Cleanse, cleanse, cleansed, and, uh, you know, it's just the question's gonna be where is this treasure chest? Fortunately, I know this map, whoa, I know this map well enough. Uh, I'm really hoping that there's like a way to cleanse myself. See, now I just can't see. Darn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this could be a little difficult, at least for me. I might know the map well, but I don't know where they, where they put the chest, so. And I don't know if they're changing it like each time I respawn. Uh, so I'm just gonna do my best here. I don't see any chest immediately. This is a way to get cleansed right there. Uh, way to get cleansed right here. Oh, there it is. Here we go. I think I got it. There we go. Bracelet of on a bay, uh, on a bray, and then we got to speak to Lakshmi again. So we're gonna do it. All right, Lakshmi, what's up? I got the thing that you wanted. <laughs> and, uh, let me see what you a bracelet with the symbol of House Bray on a Bray's personal sigil. Guardian, the inner circle will be grateful that you have returned this artifact to the tower. The data you retrieved from the Eye of Atheon, meanwhile, has pinpointed another ripple. This one is at the heart of the Black Garden. It is time you return to Mars. The ripple in the garden apparently flows from a construct called the Groundskeeper. Find it, destroy it, and return to my side. There. There. It's done. <laughs> okay, so off on another adventure. All right, we're heading off into a quest called Blood in the Garden. Oh, a 290 quest. Thankfully, I'm 303, and uh, we're going to fly in. I'm going to see if there's going to be any exposition, any story given to me as I fly in. Uh, there wasn't previously, uh, so let's see. Anyway, I think this is the last one, whether or not there's story or not. I think this is the last uh, mission before I get the new gun. Um, 
which I think is called No Time to Explain. That's a quick load. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can do this. There's no time to explain. I think that's the gun I'm getting, right? New step, enter the Black Garden and draw out the Groundskeeper and destroy it. I can probably pull that off. Uh, right now I'm playing as Defender, which is a pretty good thing. Uh, assuming it just depends on how hard this is going to be. If I really want to play Defender well, though, uh, what I'll probably do is get rid of this heavy weapon stuff. Put on just some... Uh, what would be good? Melee, pulse rifle, melee, shotgun. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, we'll put on my uh, my helm of Saint-14. Looks like we don't have that far to go. It's going to go down here. I do wonder if we're going to encounter any enemies along the way. Doesn't really seem like it. And I don't really know like ultimately where I'm going to end up here. All right. And again, I may not even need to use the dome. Oh, but you know what? I had it on as, for weapons of light when I was fighting Atheon, and plus I'm Sunbreaker right now. So there we go. Ah, okay. Let's go to Blessing of Light, my favorite. Since I'm soloing this part, by the way, thanks to uh, uh, Rakesh Elias, Ashley, and Alan for helping me on the raid. I didn't really introduce them because it was such a quick little clip, but I've been playing uh, Destiny with them a lot often. Uh, you know, I do a lot of Destiny, but most of it's just kind of like chores. <laughs> Anger the Groundskeeper. Okay. Anger at 1%. He's 1% angry at me. 3%. He is... How angry do I have to make this guy to want to attack me? More than 6%, obviously. Alright. Oh my gosh. Don't be too mad. Don't... Be mad. All right. There we go. He's only fourteen. I'm, I'm defending a lot of, or defeating a lot of these. Uh, what are they just called? Descendant goblins. All right. I'm running out of shotgun ammo. He's 20% angry with me. Oh, he's falling. He's 19%. Where are all these guys? Get super mad, please. I basically just have to keep defeating these goblins until he gets, like, really pissed. Oh, hi. Did I even... God, okay. Ooh, that was a 10% anger boost. Oh, jeez, and I can see why. These guys are really hurting me. Man, now I'm... Okay, you know what? This does, in a way, suck because... Oh, okay, I got more. I might want to save some for him. Oh, come on. Ah, all right. He's 63% angry. And this is a perfect time for something like this. A dome to help protect me. And he's 93% angry. Is he, is he like totally mad at me yet? He's 110% pissed. Hey, what do I do? What do I do? Do I go to feed him now? What's what's the what's the deal? Oh man, he's way over there. What the heck do I do? I didn't realize that there were so many more enemies out here. Holy, do I have to keep him angry? Uh, it could be useful to keep him angry because uh, I could get, um, you know, I could get more weapons and whatnot. Hello, groundskeeper. You mad, bro? Oh, hi. Oh, my God. This guy's mad, though. It's another. Hold up. I'm going to make sure this guy's pissed. Oh, man. Where is he? Is that him up there? He's so far away. This hand cannon is not that great for long range stuff. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, I know. Lots of you guys are here. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to keep him angry. And there's just so many of these minotaurs. That's the real problem. Oh, God.
Oh, jeez. Alright, I have another bubble. I can maybe try to get closer to this guy, maybe? I really wish I had a... Hi, here I am. You wanted to see me? What the? Mm, did he, where'd he go? Where did he go? Upset that this guy's I'm mostly just fighting these things like come on oh geez hi um oh, three of them on me now I'm running so low on bullets this is me basically just killing minotaurs Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Let me let me let me let me recover here. Jeez, you guys are mean. There are so this guy is really mad. Uh, you may not want to be doing this to me. Jesus! Oh my God, there he is. Is that him up there? Dome! God dang it, man! Is there like a safe place to be here? I might take a heavy ammo sim. This would make sense to me. Where is it in my inventory? There we go. Where is the dude? God, this guy just keeps moving around. Oh god. Yep. Yep. Mistake. Oh my god. Okay. No safety up there. Ooh, this is this is one of the tougher tougher rounds I've done. Yep, everyone's shooting me. I'm dead. I'm so dead. God. Oh, I can just respawn. Okay, I didn't realize I could just respawn. Well, that... Okay, now... Okay. Now the stakes are low. Let me go and put on the sleeper simulant here, then. I didn't realize... Okay. Low stakes. Uh, that, which is good, because uh, I can switch to weapons of light and probably just shred this guy, then. Stakes are low. Let's try it out. Where's this guy even gonna be? Way back there again. He's a hundred percent angry. Oh man, did he? Leave? He, he left. Uh, of course he left. He's not as angry anymore. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Ah, I, I can't believe I died. Oh god. Yeah, so this doesn't do much. Are you back yet? Oh my god. Please don't be so angry with me. This doesn't do much. Where is he? Where is he? No, that's. Where is he? There he is. Hi. Alright, good. Good moves. I'm not even protected in there. I, I don't know why I went to the bubble. Uh, okay, so this guy's almost dead. I'm, I'm just glad that, you know, I don't have to, uh,. He leave? He didn't leave. He just left. Where is he? I got like one more shot on him. Uh. He, why would he? He departs. He approaches. He departs. He approaches. There's so many minotaurs. Oh my god. If I can just. There we go. Got him. New step. Speak to someone. I want to see if this guy dropped anything. 
Okay, I know I'm, I'm gonna die. This will bring. This is not blessing a light. All right, did he drop anything? He did. He dropped a little triangle, which isn't a big deal. Yeah, blue polyphage. All right, let's go speak to Lakshmi. All right, I'm approaching Lakshmi. I believe my mission is done, and we get to pick up a new gun. There it is. The no time to explain, and that's a uh, pulse rifle. And now, what? A ring with the symbol of the warlock uh, Pujari? Death again, like Anna Bray, a guardian fallen to the second death, lost to us. We shall study these objects, guardian. Learn why they have been pulled through time. I believe your work is over, for now. Praetis, uh, Praetis files have unspooled, their data undone like uncoiled strands of hair, and what has fallen free? A weapon, transmatted from space-time in some place and specifically for you. Someone has taken notice of our actions, Guardians. Someday we may be able to ask them to explain what all this means. And here it is, uh, no time to explain. Precision hits are immediately returned to the magazine. This weapon can be fired in full auto mode. Interesting uh, gun indeed. Um, thanks, thanks. Um, <laughs> this is a pulse rifle, so uh, you know I'm gonna probably use some motes of light to just. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta get rid of. Here, let's just put on. I like that gun. I'm gonna probably use some motes to try to upgrade it. Uh, I don't know how many it's gonna take. Um, but uh, let's see. Do I have this? A pulse rifle telemetry. I actually just met before recording this part. I dismantled an old school one. Uh, let's use it. Um, pulse rifle telemetry, and I don't know if that means I can just absorb those motes of light. Well, as I do that, I also have this gun, uh, the Dark Blade Spite. Uh, I have this gun I was wanting to test out, so I'll upgrade it as well. And uh, do I have any marks that would be? I don't even know. Um, I'm working on these. I'm working on. Um, what helmet was I working on? I think I'm done with it. I guess I'll be working on this. I don't know. Um, here, was I working on anything here? No, these are all done. I think I was working on this. Uh, this is my 310. Uh, so, I'm going to be just um, taking some uh, motes of light. Uh, I have 30. I actually have like a, oh, like a 700 on my other character, so hopefully it won't be over 30. I, I don't know, though, what the rules are. And I don't know if this even speeds it up. Uh, yeah, that does speed it up. That was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. Where are we at now? We're like halfway there. I bet another 10 more will be good. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't want to... What, what is this used to upgrade? Uh, spin metal. I have a lot of that. That's good. Uh, I can also upgrade this already. Uh, this is... Uh, this is the Dark Blade Spite. Lightweight accelerated coils with decreased damage. How does it know that? Maybe I'll just do the lightweight. I don't know. This looks good. Um, and this is done. Do I have any other guns I want to just mess around with? Like, oh, here's a sidearm I can continue. Is this one done? I was wondering, this has so much like, uh, here we go, persistence. This has a lot of accuracy. Uh, this has more impact at the cost of stability. I don't know how, again, I would just wanted to test out this weapon. Who cares, you know? Um, I don't have any more heavies to upgrade right now. Uh, and I'm still working on this stuff. Do I have any arms or any? No. I'll use another 10, I think. Let's do one, two, three, four. And we'll use six more. I think this is going to be done. This is just upgraded by default now. More range, reduced stability. I think I'm, think I'm good with this. Um, or maybe, uh, if I'm going to use a sidearm, maybe just being able to, to draw it out would be would be cool I don't know <laughs> uh, this is almost done speedy reload we're going to do what a few more are these spin what is this this is spirit bloom got it uh, let's do the, the the six more one two three four five six this is I think gonna make this one complete yeah there we go so this is interesting increased recoil accurate more range and impact uh, increased recoil, uh, smart drift control, penalty to range. I think I'd rather do this, higher impact. Full auto is cool. Reload this weapon quickly. This weapon is effective at an extended range. Increases stability. I don't know if I would prefer range or stability. I'm going to go with stability, though. And uh, this looks this looks 
good. More range and stability at the cost of impact. I don't know. I really don't know what would be best. I'm going to lock it so I never spend it. And then now I'm going to go... Oh, this one actually got a nod, a notch in it. There we go. Now I'm going to go uh, test it out. So I will be uh, right back. All right, I'm on Mars, and I'm using the no time to explain. Uh, how many bullets? That's three bullets. Yeah, three bullets per shot. And... Um, you know, let's see how it does. Uh, I could take out a boss. Why not? Who cares? Uh, let's just roll over, right over. Ah. All right, let's uh, let's go check it out. I really need more relic shards, so I'm just gonna pick them up whenever I can. Uh, so let's go take out the boss. And uh, yeah, this is just testing out the gun. So. You know, I don't know how I'm going to like it, honestly. I, I'm used to the Red Death. I'm used to the Bad Juju. Uh, this will be a new Pulse Rifle for me to, to, to get acquainted with, and I don't know. You know, we, we got to really, really balance the perks. The Full Auto should be a good thing, depending. I mean, I'm not... I don't really have a problem. Oh, here we go. I got, we got, I guess, guess we got Taken here. And the Scab lands. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, explosions all around. I'm just going to try to walk past all of this, though. Take on the boss. Oh. I don't think I did anything to those guys. Uh, my primary weapons are full. I'll get, a, I'll get that back. Don't worry. Alright, no time to explain. All right, here's a guy, two guys. Um, I mean the the interesting thing, it, the weird electricity stuff. God, that's I can't tell if that's really good or if I'm just like this is normal. I can't tell. I feel like you know these are weak guys. I don't. I don't hmm, it feels good. There's the full auto. Um, precision kills return to the magazine. There's precision shots. Let's see. So I have 24. Yeah, I see. I see now. There we go. So I'm only using two shots right there. So as long as I'm making precision shots, you know, I could see myself, uh, you know, keeping my magazine for a long time. I'm being careless right now. There we go. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, again, I mean, it's like I can't tell if this is just really awesome, powerful, or if like these enemies are just really weak. I'm missing. I don't know why I'm missing. That was a horrible shot of me. Still practicing here. No, no sort of aim assist. It doesn't seem, or targeting, or anything like that. Um, I guess it's really just a, a a gun that you can fire for a long time, and then any uh, as long as you're making hits, at least. And it's pretty strong, seemingly. This could be interesting in the Crucible because uh, as long as you're making those hits, you can just keep shooting for the most part. I still have eight. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, and I got Mars Reconnaissance too, which is a, okay. So anyway. Yeah, see, this is really good. Um, For a lot of reasons. I don't know if I'll, it would be one of the guns I use a lot, but I'm, I'm definitely going to tinker around with it as we continue onwards. Guys, thanks for watching. Come back next time for more Destiny. I, I really don't know what will be next. They keep coming out new surprises. and uh, But, you know, I will be doing more Taken King videos. I'm having a lot more fun with Taken King than I have with other Destiny stuff in the past. Uh, so, that's good for me. And probably for you, too. You get the extra videos. So, thanks for watching. Come back next time. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. And if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.